Mic check, mic check. Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you as we get ready to tip you off here for Eastern Arizona College women's basketball as they take on Central Arizona College in an ACCAC matchup here this Friday evening from Eastern Arizona College. We hope your Friday is good wherever you are joining us from this afternoon and evening. Central comes into tonight's contest 3-3 three and three overall. They are 1-1 one and one on the road. Their last game was December 9th, a 77-48 win over Glendale. Eastern Arizona College comes into tonight 7-1. Their, their lone loss came on their last time out December 9th at Cochise College, a 56-50 loss on the second day of a doubleheader. Eastern Arizona College leads the conference in free throw, free throw attempts per game, turnovers forced per game, the fewest points per game allowed at 45, and are holding opponents shooting just 28% from the floor. Central Arizona comes in First in points per game at 76. First in, in field goal made. First in field goal attempts. First in three-point attempts. First in three points made. First in offensive rebounds per game. First in steals per game. But they are giving up the most three-pointers to their opponents. So that sounds an awful lot like a run-and-shoot offense for the Central Arizona Paquettas tonight, here tonight against Eastern Arizona College. Quickly, let's see if we can get through the starting lineups. For Central Arizona, 5'9 freshman from Spain, number four, Irene Maroto. A 5'8 sophomore from Spain, number five, Anna Costa Riera. A six foot freshman from Denmark, number 10, Christine Monk. A 5'10 freshman from California, number 23, Nicole Fernandez. And a 5'11 sophomore from Spain, number 24, Malena. Sablin Skite Skite. And we will take a timeout for the national anthem. Back for the Eastern lineup right after this. Welcome back here at Eastern Arizona College. Let's continue with the Eastern Arizona College starting lineup tonight. A 5'10 freshman from Adelaide, Australia, double zero, Sarah Dang. A 5'4 sophomore from Lebanon, Oregon, number four, Mary Workman. A 5'9 sophomore from Santo Andre, Brazil, number 10, Vitoria Santana. A 6'1 sophomore from Mexico, number 14, Elva Chavez. And a 6'4 sophomore from Syracuse, Utah, number 44, Gracie Sorensen. The Monsters putting their 5-0 record, perfect record at home on the line tonight against Central Arizona. Let's go over the, uh, the lineup for Brian Camacho's Vaqueros once again. A 5'9 freshman from Godea, Valencia, Spain, number four, Irene Maroto. A 5'8 sophomore from Barcelona, Spain, number five, Ana Costa Riera. 
A six foot freshman from Copenhagen, Denmark, number 10, Kirstine Monk. A 5'10 freshman from Torrance, California, number 23, Nicole Fernandez. And a 5'11 sophomore from Santa Ponta, Spain, number 24, Emiliana Sablinskaite. That is the, the lineups for tonight. Coming into tonight for Central Arizona. The leading scorer for the Vaqueros is sophomore Ana Costa Riera, averaging 17.3 points a game, followed by Miliana Sablinskaite at 13 and a half points a game, and then Kirstine Monk at 10.2 points a game this season. The only player that averages in double digits for Eastern Arizona this year is Vitoria Santana, the sophomore from Brazil. She is back-to-back -back player of the week in the Division I conference as well because of her efforts, and her efforts have been outstanding this season. Let's take a look at the standings in the ACCAC. Coming into tonight, Eastern Arizona College with their 7-1 and one record. Have, uh, I believe, the most wins coming into tonight. They do at seven wins. But in the conference, Arizona Western sits 6-0 and in the league. Scottsdale is 3-0. and Pima Community is 4-1. and Eastern sits at 3-1. and But their seven overall wins ties Mesa for the number one spot in wins. Central Arizona comes into tonight, as I mentioned, 3-3 three and three overall and 2-1 and one in the ACCAC. Sit back and relax and join us for Eastern Arizona College basketball tonight. Uh, today was the final day of class here at Eastern Arizona College, so don't expect to see too many students in the student section tonight as they've all gone home for the holiday break. Eastern wins the toss. Santana dribbles out of the quick trap on the far side. Sorensen out now left side. Santana for three. Over the rim, no good. Rebound is loose. Pulled down by Sorensen and left-handed back up and in. And the Monsters... Out on top early, 2-0 into the front court. Quick fake of the three by Fernandez. She drives the lane, kicks it in the corner right side. Now back around on top to Maroto. Now around left side to Sablinskite. She's going to drive the lane, gets underneath the basket, reverses it, and puts it up and in. Makes it 2-2. Dang will bring the ball into the front court left side. Now to Chavez. Chavez, elbow jumper on the way, around and off, no good. Sablinskite with the rebound. Quickly into the front court, left side to Monk. Monk into the corner, long jumper, too much out of bounds off of Central Arizona. It will be monster basketball. Central Arizona has definitely brought the energy on defense, and they've picked up full court to start this one, trying to speed up the monsters a little bit. Chavez pushes the ball into the front court, double teamed on the near side, gets it to Dang. Now around. Into the corner to Workman. Mary drives the baseline, finds some room, kicks it out on top to Dang. The lefty for three. Good for Sarah Dang. Makes it 5-2 Monsters. Into the front court. Moroto with it right side. Hands it off to Monk. Monk around on top to Sablanskite. Now off to Riera. Riera drives, gets around. Dang, can't hit the shot. But Sarah's going to say that's on me. That'll be the first on Dang, the first team foul, but that will put Ana Costa Riera at the line to shoot two, the 5'8 sophomore. The leading scorer for the Vaqueras. I'm just going out on a limb and say Brian Camacho has a connection in Spain of the 11, 12 on the roster. The five of them are from Spain. One, two, three, four, just four, I overcounted. The second one is good by Riera, her first point. Makes it 5-3. Eastern Arizona College on top. Santana will bring the ball into the front court. Near side to Dang. Dang back to Santana, top of the key. Looking for Gracie down low, now swings it to Chavez. Chavez back out on top, through the hands of Dang, and that's gonna be over and back, and a turnover back to Central Arizona. It will be central basketball at midcourt. Oh, they're going to say all the way down at the end of the court. I'm going to re 
reset the shot clock. As Riera to inbound, and it's knocked out of bounds by Santana as they try to get it into Monk. Definitely an international flavor tonight's contest with players from multiple countries on both teams. Monk drives the left baseline, stolen away by Sorensen in the lane. Off to Dang, left side. Dang leaves it to Santana, across the logo. Now right corner to Chavez. Chavez drives the right baseline, wraps around a workman in the corner for a three. Off the rim, no good, and pulled down in the lane by Central Arizona. That's Anna Costa Riera. She'll bring it into the front court, left side against Dang. Goes right now, cross court, wide open is Monk. She'll fire the three and bury it, and Central Arizona's taking the lead, 6-5, with seven and a half minutes to play in the first quarter of this one. Because of there's so many international uh, players here tonight, go ahead and chime in where you are watching from tonight. We'd like to see uh, where our viewers are from on a nightly basis. Far side, Workman with it, down low to Sorensen, perfect position, and Gracie puts it up and in. If the Monsters are able to get the ball to Sorensen that low on the block, she could have a career night. Monk into the front court, swings it left side to Fernandez. Fernandez drives, gets around Sorensen, and she's fouled as Gracie got beat on the dribble. That'll be the first on Sorensen. Second team foul. That'll put Central back at the line to shoot two. This time, Nicole Fernandez, the 5'10 freshman from Torrance, California. First one by Fernandez, around and off, no good. These two teams will be in action again tomorrow at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon here at Eastern Arizona College as well. And they're going to say in the lane early against Central Arizona. That'll be a lane violation. And it'll be a turnover back to Eastern Arizona. Santana will inbound, length to the floor, left to right. Into Sorensen. Sorensen right back to Santana. Santana pushes it into the front court against the double team. Out on top to Dang. Dang drives, tries to feed it right side to Chavez. And too many hands in the way and Central back the other way on the run. Running floater on the way, back iron no good by Monk, pulled down by Eastern. 6.46 to play in the first quarter, 7-6 Eastern Arizona on top. Santana in the front court to Workman. Workman drives the left baseline, leaves it to Sorensen in the lane, a little short left-handed, gets it right back. Her follow is good for Gracie Sorensen. Makes it a 9-6 Monsters lead. Monk into the front court, left side, on the angle, drives against Santana, steps through, and she traveled with the basketball. Nice help side defense there for the Monsters. Into the Central Arizona lineup will be number two, Maria Luisa Montez, 5'10 freshman from Sevilla, Spain. Ciudad Jardin. And also number one, Amani Green, a 5'8 sophomore from Tucson High in Tucson, Arizona. And checking into the Eastern Arizona College lineup as well will be number 13, Manuela Aquino, a 6'1 freshman from Recife, Pernambuco, Brazil. Makes it 9-6 Eastern here with 6.5 to play in the first quarter. Dang with the ball near side. Back to Santana. Santana comes right on the drive, finds some room, leaves it for Dang, though. Thought she had some room. The lefty will go left in the corner to Vittoria. She's going to take a 10-footer in the lane, won't go. Chavez chases it down on the near side, gets bumped, and a foul going to be called on Amani Green. That'll be her first, first team foul, non-shooting foul. Eastern will inbound, baseline right with Sarah Dang. And on top to Santana. Santana right back to Dang. Dang back to Santana. Goes left on the dribble. Far side, Chavez catches underneath and scores. That's th the short corner on the far side against that zone. Eastern found at that time. Makes it 11 to 6, their largest lead. Green in the front court, left side. Now on top with Riera. Swings it around now to Montez. Montez backs it back left side. Hands it off to Riera. Top of the key. Goes right against Dang. Dang stays with her, but Riera able to get around the corner and lay it up and in one on one. 11 8 Eastern Arizona with five and a half to play in the first quarter here in this ACCAC matchup. Santana drives right to Chavez. Chavez underneath the basket, steps through, 
can't hit, rebounded by Aquino. Aquino in the lane, left-handed, off glass, won't go, and pulled down by Sablin Skyte. For Central, into the front court to Monk, wide open for a three. It's off over the rim, no good. Rebounded by Mary Workman for the Monsters. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter, 11-8. Eastern on top, Chavez with the ball, left corner. And throws it away into the hands of Amani Green, trying to clear it from the corner. Central on the run. They've got numbers. Right side, Montez off the glass and good. And a timeout called by Eastern Arizona. 4.41 to play here in the first quarter. It's Eastern 11. It's Central 10. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back inside here at Eastern Arizona College's Go to Gato Gymnasium. It's 11 to 10, Eastern Arizona College on top of Central Arizona. It'll be Eastern basketball, length of the floor, left to right. Santana will inbound. Also into the Eastern Arizona College lineup, Laney Dolan, a 5'10 sophomore from Central Point, Oregon. Into the front court, and Elva Chavez throws it away. Left side is... She was trying to find a cutting, I think it was Dolan, Dolan who was coming to the basket, but it was about four feet over her head. Central Arizona back in possession with four and a half to play first quarter. Eastern up one. Riera into the front court, hands it on top to Montes. On the standing dribble, goes right now, works against Aquino. Crossover, steps through, and a traveling violation gonna be called on Montes. The double team came just in time for the monster defense and caused the turnover. It'll be Eastern basketball. We've got one viewer tuning in from South Padre Island, Texas, which means he's already on vacation. A foul on a reach in at the midcourt stripe will go against Maria Luisa Montez. That'll be her first second team foul. Eastern will inbound, front court left, out on top to Workman. And a traveling violation called on Workman as she tries to clear the double team out on top of Central Arizona. Central Arizona is causing Eastern to start their offense a lot further out than they want to. And it's really bothered the Monsters on the offensive end. Riera into the front court with the ball. Off to Monk on the handoff. Riera into the corner, wide open. Montez fires the three over the rim, no good. Dolan with the rebound. Pushes up to Workman, left side. Workman has numbers. She'll center the ball, out on top to Santana. Drives, left corner to Dolan. Wide open from the left corner for three. Front iron, no. Chavez keeps it alive. Back to the glass and score it for Elvin Chavez. 13-10. Into the front court, Riera with it. Off to Monk, drives left, gets in the lane. Lefty scoop shot is good. Central Arizona able to dribble drive and get into the paint. Hey, okay, make it a 13-12. Eastern lead with 3.16 to play in the first quarter. Chavez drives the ball into the front court, tries to go coast to coast, throws up a wild shot, can't hit it, but Dolan chases it down for Eastern. Reset to Workman, left side. She'll fire a three from her hip, around and off, no good. Rebounded by Dolan, but she can't hang on to it. It goes out of bounds. Into the central lineup will be Nicole Fernandez, replacing Amani Green. It'll be central basketball, right to left, with three minutes to play in the first quarter. 13-12, Eastern leads. Their largest lead has been five here in the first quarter. Riera, left side to Monk. Monk down low to Montez in the lane against Workman, spins it and scores it. Montez listed at 5'10", Workman listed at 5'4", so the six inch height advantage there for Central. And a turnover on the inbounds as Aquino can't 
hang on to it. It'll be central ball at midcourt. Into the Eastern lineup will be 6'3 freshman Ashlyn Clarkson from Pima High School. It'll be central basketball, front court right, into Fernandez. Now out on top to Riera. Riera against Santana. Right side now to Sablin Skyte. Down low to Monk, catches it, back out to Fernandez against Clarkson, drives baseline. Gets around her, but blocked by Clarkson. On the way up, Workman chases it down. Mary sprints it up left side to Dolan. Now on top to Chavez. Chavez near side to Workman. Workman catches, drives right baseline. Now to Chavez, left side. Chavez traveled with the basketball. She hesitated and drug the pivot foot. In turn, gets called for the travel. Be a turnover back to Central. 2.05 to play, first half, Central with a 14-13, excuse me, first quarter, Central with a 14-13 lead. Riera walks it into the front court, top of the key. Now right side to Monk, Monk pivots, goes left, over Dolan, can't hit, Santana high for the rebound. Santana, left corner to Workman, Workman to Clarson, Clarson off the glass and good. Great positioning on the block for Ashlyn Clarson. Her first points give the Monsters a 15-14 lead. Fernandez tries a three from the left side over the rim, no good. And that's gonna go, oh, I thought it was gonna go out of bounds, but Chavez shoveled it back behind her and saved it just in time. Workman into the front court, double team comes and throws it away. That double team out front has really bothered the Monster guards. Into the front court, Fernandez wide open for a three. That's short, Dolan blocks out for a nice rebound for the Monsters into the hands of Santana with 106 to play in the first quarter. Santana into the front court, left side against Riera. Down low to Workman, Workman drives, gonna reverse the layup. No good, gets her own rebound to Chavez, on top to Santana. Santana goes left on the dribble, now steps back, fadeaway jumper on the way and good for Victoria Santana. She comes up limping after that shot, but that was a good move by Santana to give the Monsters a three point lead, 17-14. Monk with the ball left side. She'll go right on the drive, steps through the lane, no travel called, cross court stolen away by Santana. Into the front court, Santana on the dribble drive, gets to the glass wraparound pass, and a foul gonna be called on Central. The foul will go on 24, Miliana Sablanskaite. It'll be Sarah Dang back into the Eastern lineup. And number one, Millie Pearson, from the 5'10 freshman from Sudbury, England. Santana gonna try a three with a defender in her face. Good. 20 to 14, the Monsters on a 7-0 run here in the last minute of the first quarter to go on top 20 to 14. Into the front court, Riera with it against Dang. Goes left, now steps back, seven to shoot. Looking for a screen, gets one, goes left, picks up her dribble, nowhere to go, finds Monk in the lane, fires it, no good, and kind of a bailout call at the buzzer, and that'll put Central at the line to shoot. They're gonna put some time back on the clock. They're gonna put the foul on Laney Dolan, her first. They're gonna put .5 second, half a second on the clock. So that will not end the first quarter. Monk at the line. They're gonna put .5 back on the clock. And at the line will be Kirstein Monk, six foot freshman. Handel Himasi is where she played her high school Basketball in Copenhagen, Denmark. Free throw bounces in and out, no good. And that's the way the first quarter comes to an end. With the score, Eastern 20, Central Arizona 14. We'll be back for the second quarter here from Gateau Gymnasium right after this.
place for you. It's changed my life. Let it change yours. Ten minutes on the second quarter clock. Eastern Arizona leads 20 to 14 here over Central Arizona. I'm Lee Patterson. Thanks for joining us. Got Amanda Patterson on uh, the game book. Got Nathan Smith on the camera. We hope you are enjoying your Friday night wherever you are joining us from. Central basketball down six here to Eastern Arizona. Monk with the basketball into the left corner now to Irene Morota, who's back in on top to Montez. Montez picks up her dribble, poked away by Santana, but Montez chases it back down on top to Monk. Off to Riera. Riera goes right, gets in the lane, and she traveled with the basketball. It was that extra step. The Eastern help side defense has been solid tonight. Getting to that driving defender, or that driving, uh, Offensive player for Central. Santana to inbound, looking for somebody to get to the center of the floor. Gets it into Dang and has it knocked out of bounds. It will be Eastern basketball. One thing Central has done a really good job of so far is crashing hard with that double team. Millie Pearson trying to get to the basket, dribbles it off of her toe and out of bounds. Whether it be in the half court when Central is sending that extra defender to the top on the, the standing dribble offensive player or in the back court on the full court pressure, they've really done a really nice job and it's bothered Eastern. Riera drives, goes left, and she's going to be fouled. I believe Pearson will pick that one up. It will be on Pearson, her first, first team foul. That'll put Central back to the line to shoot. It'll be Anna Costa Riera at the line. Riera with three points tonight for Central. Make it four as she rattles that one home. Second one on the way and good by Riera. 20 to 16, Eastern leads by four, 9.19 to play in the first half. Clarson to Dolan, two on one, over to Pearson, left handed off the glass and good. That's how you beat the pressure. You get it down the floor in the two on one fast break and put it up and in. Long three on the way back the other way draws nothing for Sublinskate. It'll be Eastern basketball, length of the floor. Into Dang in the corner, loses it off of her fingertips, but gathers back to Santana. Santana up to Pearson. And knocked away by Central, but back into the hands of Pearson. But unfortunately, I don't know what size shoe she wears, but it was a half size too big. She stepped out of bounds in front of the Central bench. Central basketball after the turnover. 22-16 Eastern. Riera goes right around a high ball screen, leaves it back on top, fires a three. In and out, no good. Santana with the rebound for Eastern. And immediate pressure by Central. Eastern has numbers down the floor, but Dahlin can't handle it. On the pass on the far side, it'll be a turnover back to Central. Both Pearson and Clarson were wide open underneath the basket as Central committed three defenders to the on-ball player. Riera with the ball top of the key, looking for that pick and roll at the top. Goes right, down underneath to Montez, cuts to the basket, can't hit, rebound is loose, and we'll have a jump ball underneath the basket. Alternating possession will give it back to Eastern Arizona with 8.21 to play in the first half, 22-16. Central trailing Eastern here in this one. Into Clarson, Clarson over to Dang. Dang sprints it into the front court and she's bumped and fouled on the far side by Maria Luisa Montez. That'll be her second, first team foul. Pearson will inbound, but first into the Central Arizona lineup 
will be number 22, Ashlyn Swinson, a 5'9 sophomore from Forest Grove, Oregon. Pearson to inbound, front court left. Lobs it in to Dang. Near side, Dang. Right back out on top to Santana, back to Dang. Dang goes left to Santana. She's going to try a three from there. Back iron, no good. Rebounded by Clarkson, blocked on the way back up. But Dang will cor corral it for Eastern. Santana drives left side, in and out, no good, but a foul going to be called on Riera. That'll be the first on Riera. Check that, Irene Maruto, her first, second team foul. And for the first time tonight, Eastern Arizona will be at the free throw line. We mentioned in the open that Eastern leads the league in free throw attempts. And the first one by Santana is good. But this is the first time, comes with two minutes into the second quarter, that the Monsters have got to the foul line. Second one is short, rebound is loose, and out of bounds off of Clarkson. It'll go back to Central Arizona. 23-16, Monsters, eight minutes to play in the first half. Women's Division I ACCAC matchup tonight. Into the front court, right side, Swenson. Drives, now spins on Clarkson, kicks it out right side, three ball on the way and good Mille by Mile Sablinskate. 23-19, Eastern on top, a near steal by Central. Dolan pushes it up to Pearson. Pearson left side, in the lane to Dolan. Dolan drives, wraps it around to Clarkson, but a traveling violation gonna be called before the basket. I think they called it on Dolan before she got it to Clarkson in the paint. 23-19, Eastern Arizona College on top. Into the front court. Maroto with it, tries to get it to a cutting Swinson, but over her head and out of bounds. Brian Camacho urging his team to get a stop here in this possession. Central keeping with the pressure, but Dang able to get through it. Sprints it left side, gets around, jump stop, out on top to Santana. Santana drives, fakes the pass, or, and then is fouled on the way up. The foul will go on 22, Ashlyn Swinson, her first. Santana back to the line. Kind of a light night in the ACCAC tonight. The only men's game tonight was Williston State over South Mountain, 84-79 in the men's side. And Williston State beat South Mountain women, 84-37 as Santana hits the first. And tonight, Central and Eastern, the only conference game in action tonight. Second one is good by Santana. Back into Central's lineup, Maria, Maria Luisa Montes. 25-19, Eastern by six, with seven minutes to play in the first half of this one. Riera walks it into the front court, top of the key. On the left block, to Sablinskate. In the lane, partially blocked by Pearson, and picked up by Clarkson for the Monsters. Off to Santana, sprints it into the front court. Gonna fire a three, right side, front iron, no. Pearson with the rebound, and Eastern will reset with a new shot clock. Out on top to Santana. Santana to Dang. Dang back to Santana. Santana drives right, steps through, floater too hard, rebounded by Clarkson, and then we'll have a jump ball as her and Monk tie it up. Alternating possession will give it back to Central with 6.30 to play in the first half of this one. Don't forget tomorrow at 2 o'clock, these two back in action on a Saturday afternoon, and at noon, Eastern Arizona College men's program will take on Park University JV. Riera drives right side, off to Moroto. now top of the key for a three, no good. They're gonna call a foul away from the basketball, will be on Sarah Dang. That'll be her second, second team foul. Non-shooting foul. Central basketball baseline right. Down low to Monk. Monk stepped on the line underneath the basket 
and turned it over back to Eastern Arizona. Eastern Arizona College men's team here tonight, cheering on the women. The rest of the students here at Eastern, other than the athletes, have gone home for the break. Today was the last day of class. Hopefully everybody passed their classes during finals. Santana into the front court, lobs it to Dang. Dang going to drive the left baseline, gets to the glass too hard, rebounded by Montez down low for Central. Off to the near side to Riera. Riera into the front court, now cross court, right side, pump fake to three, drive. Nope, going to kick it to Montez in the corner for a three, and she'll bury it from there for Central Arizona. 25-22, timeout, Central Arizona. 5.43 to play in the first half. It is Eastern 25 and Central Arizona 22. Back for more right after this. Five forty-three to play in the first half here from Eastern Arizona College. The Monsters lead the Vaquetas 25-22. Eastern basketball length of the floor still working against the full court pressure of Central. Santana over to Dang. Dang up to Chrissy Sorensen, who's checked back in. Over to Santana. To Workman in the left corner. She's back in the lineup as well. Wide open underneath Elva Chavez. If Central's going to send the extra defender at the dribbler, somebody will be open on the backside. And that was Chavez, 27-22. Monk drives and travels with the basketball. Back into the central lineup will be number one, Amani Green. Replacing Irene Moroto. Eastern basketball. Dang with it. Now off to Santana. Off to Dang. Dang, weak side again to Chavez. Leaves it short, ball is loose and out of bounds off of Eastern. I think Chavez had a little bit more time there than she thought she did. She kind of rushed it. I think she had time to gather herself and go up strong. But nonetheless, the Monsters have found some room inside the last couple of possessions. Into the front court, Riera with it. Right side to Monk. Monk back to Riera. She's got some room, goes left. Dane can't get there and she's going to pick up a foul. That's a really smart play by Central. That's the third against Sarah Dang. They put the speedy Riera go around that high ball screen. That weak side player clears out, and there's nobody there on the back side, and they just sprint to the basket. Dang had to foul her. Riera going to go right side against Santana, who may have caught a little bit of that ball as she went by. Up to Sorensen. Sorensen. Double dribbled with the basketball. Twenty-seven, twenty-two. Eastern leads by five with four forty-three to play in the first half. I think when you get to the halftime break, if you're Coach DePaulo, probably on the whiteboard you go over what to do on that quick double team. The Montez three. Out of bounds, it'll be Eastern basketball. Feels like the Eastern offense is able to see the double team coming, but they're really not to able to get into their offense because of the pressure. Workman with the ball. She's going to dribble drive, kicks it in the corner to Dolan. Now back on top to Santana. Santana, right side Chavez. Chavez pulls up from the right baseline and scores it for Elva Chavez. 
There's room down there for the Monsters if they can find it. 29-22. Riero with it, top of the key. Lobs it down low to Monk. Monk double teamed. Out on top now. Sublinskate for three. Back iron, no. Rebounded by Chavez. Into the hands of Santana. Santana near side to Workman. Workman back on top to Santana. Santana goes left. Reverses it on top to Workman, fakes the three, drives, running floater in the lane from Workman, too hard, front of the iron, rebounded by Sorensen. Dolan there, and she stepped on the line. It'll be Central Arizona basketball. Nicole Fernandez back into the central lineup. I thought Sorensen got bumped on her way up there, but no whistle. So did Coach DiPaolo asking the official on the way back by. And he says, you know what, I was I couldn't see it. There was too many bodies in front of me. I like that, I like that response by an official. Be honest, say, you know what? I just didn't see it. Sublinski with the ball left side. Lobs it to Montez on the mismatch against Workman. And out of bounds off of Eastern as Montez couldn't hang on to it, but she had, was able to get enough on it to knock it off of Workman. It will be central basketball, baseline left, Fernandez to inbound. Stolen away by Workman, nice job. Off to Sorensen, right back into the hands of Workman. Workman into the front court to Dolan. Dolan down low to Sorensen, wide open underneath, rushed it a little bit, and going to be out of bounds off of Eastern Arizona. I think Chavez was the last to touch it. Back into the central lineup will be number one, Amani Green. Replacing Montez. Central basketball with 3.03 to play first half, 29-22. Eastern on top. Riera into the front court. Now goes right side to Fernandez. Fernandez to Green. Green holds it above her head, comes left on the dribble, out on top to Sablinski. Loses the handle, tries to get it to Monk, and they're going to say touched by Eastern. That official was standing right in front of it. 15 on the shot clock for Central. They'll inbound front court right. Green with it on top to Riera. She'll go left, drives the lane. High lobber won't go. Rebounded by Sorensen. She'll be hassled immediately. Off to Santana. Santana on the run. Crossover top of the key to Chavez. Chavez in the corner to Workman. She's open, but she's going to drive it instead. Spins into a double team and travels with the basketball. Into the Eastern Air, excuse me, the Central Arizona lineup number three, Tiana Buckley. 5'10 freshman from Canada. Oshawa, Canada. 29-22, Eastern by seven over Central Arizona with 2.20 to play in the first half. Riera into the front court around a high ball screen, picked up out to Green. Green thinks about it, now drives right into the corner to Buckley. Buckley down low, pump fake up under, running floater no good by Sablinski. Into the front court, Workman with it for Eastern. Draws the double team on top to Santana. Santana goes left around Buckley, draws the double team, loses the handle, but a foul going to be called. The foul will go on Tiana Buckley, her first, fourth team foul. Non-shooting foul. Eastern Arizona will inbound baseline left. Workman with it for Eastern. Lob in on top to Santana. Santana step back, three on the way, short. Rebound is loose and Buckley chases it down for Central. Up ahead to Riera, behind the back, in the lane. Kicks it around to Monk. Monk drives on Sorensen, and a reach-in foul called against Santana. And that'll be the fourth team foul. <laughs> 98 seconds to play in the first half, 28-9-22. Relatively low scoring first half for both these squads. Riera to inbound, lobs it in, knocked away by Dolan, but chased down by Sublinski. Out to Riera, now on top to Green. Long three on the way, back iron won't go, and Sorensen clears the rebound. Off to Chavez. Chavez leaves it to Santana in the backcourt. Left side to Workman. Workman goes left, gets into the lane. Scoop shot won't go. Rebound is loose, and we're going to have a jump ball. Jump ball on 
Alternating possession. We'll leave it with Eastern with 18 on the shot clock. Ashlyn Swinson back into the central lineup, replacing Tiana Buckley. Workman will inbound baseline left for Eastern. Lobs it into Chavez. Chavez goes left into the corner to Workman. Workman back on top to Santana. Santana lobs it down to Sorensen. Left-handed, too hard in and out. Rebounded by Green for Central. Off to Riera. Into the front court against Workman. Running floater in the lane, won't go. Rebounded by Workman. One minute to play in the first half. Workman, right corner to Dolan. Dolan has it poked away, picked up by Central. Left side to Riera against Workman. Steps through, floater over the rim and good for Anna Costa Riera. 29-24, Monsters by five. Into Chavez, Chavez double team, gets it back to Santana. There's a five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Eastern can take it down to five seconds if they want to. Down low, Chavez, wide open though, she's gonna take it and one. You run the baseline against the zone, you get the payout. The foul will go on 24, Sablinskate. That'll be her second. Buckley back into the central lineup. That's the fifth team foul against Central, so Eastern in the bonus, the remainder 22 seconds of this half. Free throw is good for Chavez, making a three-point play. Into the Eastern lineup, number 12, Sharday Williams, a 5'9 sophomore from Queens, New York, by way of New Mexico Junior College, replacing Gracie Sorensen. 32-24 Eastern. 22.6 seconds to play in the first half. The shot clock is off, so Central can hold for a final shot. Riera into the front court, top of the key. Left side, Sablinski stolen away by Williams. Two on one back the other way, seven seconds. Williams knocked away by Buckley and out of bounds off of Eastern. It'll be Central basketball with 3.2 seconds left in the half. Into the central lineup, Irene Moroto. Monk will inbound. 3.2 seconds to play in the half. Riera at midcourt, lets it fly, and no dice. That is the end of the first half here at Eastern. Eastern 32, Central 24. We'll come back for second half action coming up.
Welcome back inside here at Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson, let's take a quick a look at the first half stats. First for Central Arizona. Irene Moroto had, did not score in the first half. Seven points for Anna Costa Riera. Five points for Christine Nunk. Five points for Mile Sublinskate. Seven points for Maria Luisa Montez off the bench for Central, and that's it. They shot six of 14 from the floor, 43%. One of six from three. 16% and one of five from the foul line, 20%. For Eastern Arizona College, Sarah Dang with three points, eight points for Victoria Santana, 11 for Elva Chavez, the lead all scorer, six points for Gracie Sorensen, only four points off the bench, two points for Millie Pearson, and two points for Ashlyn Clarkson. Eastern shot nine of 20 from the floor, that's 45%, two of six from three, 33%. Check that, four of five, two, uh, they were, Two of nine from three, 22%, 80% from the foul line. They were four of five. Central was actually three of eight, three of seven from the foul line, 43%. Largest lead by the Monsters was eight. Central held a one point lead early in the game at 743 mark. The Monsters have out rebounded Central 27 to eight in the first half, but it has not led to a huge scoring output. They lead 32 to 14. For the Monsters, they've got to clean up the turnovers. 17 turnovers in the first half for Eastern Arizona. Central Arizona has forced, or Eastern Arizona has forced 11 for Central. Eastern will start the second half with their starters. Dang, Workman, Sorensen, Santana, and Chavez. Central Arizona will start the second half with their starters as well, it will be Moroto, Riera, Monk, Fernandez, and Sablinski. It'll be central basketball to start the second half, left to right. Into Riera, who will bring it into the front court against Santana. In the lane, trying to get it back to Monk. She's not able to hang on to it. It'll go out of bounds. Back to Eastern Arizona. Eastern basketball. Central Arizona more into a diamond half court trap now as Eastern brings it into the front court. And a steal by Fernandez. Still effective. Into the front court. Stolen back by Sorensen, though, for Eastern. Into the hands of Santana. Santana goes right on top to Workman, back to Santana. Santana goes left, gets to the baseline, steps back, lobs it on top to Dang. Down low to Sorensen, kicks it in the corner. Santana for a three, front iron no. Rebounded by Chavez, and she's fouled on the way back up. Nice job by Alva Chavez to get positioning down low to get the offensive rebound and the putback. The foul will go on for Irene Moroto. That'll be her second, first team foul. Into the central lineup will be number two, Maria Luisa Montez. Replacing Fernandez. Chavez at the line, trying to make it a three-point play. Free throw, oh, check that. She did not make that basket. She's shooting two. Her first one is up and good. Second one is good, two for two at the line for Chavez. She's got 13 to lead all scores. 34-24, Monsters by 10. Montez with the ball right corner on top to Riera, around to Monk. Now left side to Moroto. Moroto in the corner, to Saplinski. Now on top to Riero, near side to Monk. Thinks about a three. Now on top to Riero, left side to Montez. And stolen away by Dang in the middle of the floor. Sarah pushes it in the front court, leaves it to Workman. Right back to Dang, near side to Santana. Santana. Thinks about the drive, leaves it left side to Chavez. Chavez with the ball, cross court to Dang. Dang into the corner to Workman. Comes left with 15 to shoot. On top to Dang. Dang tries to get it high post to Gracie and stolen away by Riera. She's going to try to go coast to coast. Cut off there by Dang. Out on top to Monk. Left side into the corner. The lefty for three, Moroto. No good. And Dang chases it down in the corner for Eastern. 
Pushes in the front court to Workman. Lobs it down low to Sorensen, and she'll put it up and in. Nice look by Mary Workman. Timeout on the floor. Timeout. 8-14 to play third quarter. Eastern to their largest lead. 36-24. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Eastern Arizona College up 36-24. A quick 4-0 run to start. Moroto goes right on the dribble in the lane. Hands it off to Sablinski, who puts it up and in. 36-26, Monsters by 10. Back to the full court pressure by Central. Eastern beats it this time. Workman out ahead, left side, goes to the glass, loses it on the way up. Chavez with the rebound on the right side, spins in the lane, loses the handle, and Central comes away with it, and then Chavez is going to get whistled for a frustration foul. She got thought she got fouled on the way up. That'll be the first on Chavez. 739 to play, third quarter, 36-26, Eastern on top. Riera with it to Moroto, right side. Eastern drops back into his zone this trip down. Riera with it on top. Left side to Montez. Montez on top, eight to shoot. Monk near side. Back on top to Riera. Riera back to Monk. Pump fake, now has some time with three to shoot. Front iron no good. Santana with the rebound. She gets an arm across her arm, but no whistle. Santana into the front court to Workman. Workman dribbles out of the corner on top now. Finds some room, kicks it to Dang. Dang in the corner to Santana. Santana picks up her dribble, finds Sorensen in the lane. Left handed off the glass too hard. Rebound is loose and pulled down by Santana, who just rips it away from Riera to regain possession. They're going to put uh, 30 on the shot clock on the full reset. Actually, they're going to put it back to 26. Because technically that was a full possession reset after Eastern stole it away. Santana to inbound. Into Sorensen, catches on the left block, goes to work, too hard off the glass, and out of bounds off of Central. It'll be Eastern basketball. Sarah Dang may have caught an errant elbow on the way through. She's a little shaken up after the play, but she's going to stay in. Workman will inbound baseline right for the Monsters. Lobs it in on top to Santana. Santana directing some traffic. Lobs it back door to Chavez. She catches there. Can't hit on the way up. Sorensen with the rebound. And one for Gracie Sorensen. Count the basket for Sorensen. The foul will go on to Maria Luisa Montez, her third. Into the central lineup, number three, Tiana Buckley, replacing Montez. And Sorensen at the line, trying to make it a three-point play for the Gila Monsters. Free throw hits every part of the rim and three-quarters of the backboard, but still falls through for Gracie Sorensen. 39-26, the Monsters' largest lead at 13. Into the front court, left side, Riera with it. Now on top to Moroto. Moroto goes left, off of the knee of Monk and out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. Back to Eastern Arizona College. Santana will inbound, back court for Eastern. Into Chavez. Chavez hands it right back to Santana. 
Santana on a right-handed dribble, gets around Monk, all the way underneath, wraps it around, off the hip of Sorensen, and then touched out of bounds by Central. 21 on the shot clock, 6-11 to play in the third, Monsters up 13. Dang will inbound, baseline left. Lobs it on top to Workman, thinks about a three, now drives, nice, bounce pass to Sorensen, can't hit, Dang with the rebound though, and the Monsters get another possession. To Chavez, Chavez drives, running floater on the way, no good, Sorensen with the rebound, and a foul in the loose ball against Central number four, Irene Moroto, that'll be her third. Third team foul. Back into the central lineup will be 22, Ashlyn Swinson. It'll be Eastern basketball, baseline left, 20 on the shot clock, dang dang bound. Into the corner to Santana. Santana dribbles out of the corner. Now he's gonna think about a three. No good, but a foul gonna be called on number five, Anna Costa Riera. That'll be her first. And Santana will go to the line to shoot three. Foul shots for the Monsters. Into the Eastern lineup will be number 24, Ashlyn Clarkson, 6'3 freshman, replacing Gracie Sorensen, the 6'4 sophomore. Santana, the Monsters' leading scorer, at the line for three. First one is up and good. Biggest difference I noticed for Santana between her freshman season and her sophomore season so far is just her composure on the floor. Through whatever adversity happens on the floor last year, she had a tendency to, to get fired up about it. This year she plays through it. And I think that that helps settle down the rest of the team when your sophomore captain and your leader is able to play through some adversity. The Eastern Monsters now lead 42-26. Backdoor, Sublinskate off the glass and good. Breakdown on defense on the backside for the Monsters. Eastern's gotta get it in. They get it into Chavez, quickly right side, and she are gonna say Chavez stepped out of bounds, and Monk was in a guarding position on the far side, so no foul. Just out of bounds off of the Monsters. Speaking of adversity, it'll be a turnover to Central at midcourt. Riera with it, left side now to Swinson. Swinson back near side, poked away by Workman, and Workman corrals it on the steal for the Monsters. Quickly down to Clarson, who runs the floor well and puts it up and in. And timeout, Central Arizona. Eastern Arizona starting to stretch the lead. They've held Central to just four points here in the third quarter. They leave at 44-28. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you, 5-12 to play in the third quarter. Monsters lead at 44-28. Monk with it, stolen away by Chavez. Chavez corrals it, looks down the floor, right corner to Workman, thinks about a three. Now on top to Dang, she'll fake the three as well. Down low to Clarson, knocked away and out of bounds. It'll stay with Eastern. Back into the Monster lineup, number 22, Laney Dahlin, replacing Workman. And back into the central lineup, number three, Tiana Buckley. Eastern basketball, baseline left, dang to inbound with 19 on the shot clock. Into the corner to Santana. And the far side official, furthest away from the ball, is going to say there was no touch on the corner by Central Arizona. If 
And now they're going to talk it over and uh, the original call stands. I couldn't see. I mean, I'm about as far away from that as we could be, but but Amanda says it was no touch, so I believe her. I mean, she's not an official, but I still believe her. Lob back door to Elva Chavez. She can't hit the alley-oop. Blocked on the follow. Loose ball and comes away to Central Arizona. Riera on the run, left side. Picked up by Santana, now drives baseline and score it. Riera's stop to go speed is some of the best I've seen this year at the junior college level. She is quick with the basketball. Santana gets it into Chavez, right back to Santana. Over to Dang. Dang sprints it up against Riera. Down low to Clarson, who catches, goes to work, can't hit. Chavez with the rebound, she hits the deck, and the ball is out of bounds off of the Monsters. Central basketball with four minutes to play in the third. Monk fakes the three, drives, cut off there by Santana. Nearly stolen away, but chased down by Riera in the corner. She's going to drive the baseline. Nice jump stop there by Santana to Monk, near side for three. Over the rim, no good. And a traveling violation called on Sarah Dang. She had the ball and just barrel rolled. And unfortunately, you can't do that in a game of basketball. Nice effort, though. It'll stay with Central Arizona. Baseline left and 30 on the shot clock. Riera to inbound. In the Monk in the corner. Out on top now to Green. Green with the right hand to dribble. Back to Monk left side on the Gila Monster logo. Blocked by Chavez on the three point attempt. Off to Santana. Santana pushes it into the front court, nearly loses it. Now the double team comes and a foul gonna be called against Amani Green on the pressure. That'll be her second. That's gonna be the fifth team foul. So the Monsters will be at the line to shoot to the remaining 334 of the third quarter. Only one foul called against the Monsters here in the third quarter. Back into the central lineup, number two, Maria Luisa Montez, replacing Tiana Buckley. Victoria at the line, 4-2. In and out, no good. I think Santana knew that was off as soon as she let it go. She started doing the lean and then the kind of walked back from the line, trying to urge it in. Second one by Santana is good. One out of two on this trip, 45-30, Monsters by 15, with 3.32 to play in the third. Into the front court, on top now, Montez with it, works against Clarkson, tries to drive, and thrown away into the hands of Santana. Monsters have number four on two. Santana tries to get it to Chavez, and Monk there to knock it away. It will be Eastern basketball, deep in the corner on the left side. Santana to inbound. Into Clarkson, catches, blocked on the way up. Ball is loose, and Dolan going to be called for a foul on the rebound for the Monsters. That'll be her second, second team foul. Central basketball length to the floor. Montez into the front court near side. On top to Monk. Monk. Tries to cross over Chavez, can't shake her, off to Montez. She drives, gets around Clarkson, can't hit the shot, but Montez gets her rebound back, reverses it, won't go, and Santana pulls it down for the Monsters. Pushes it up right side against Riera. Now on top to Chavez, Chavez back to Santana. Santana goes right. Needs some help, looks for some help over there, and out of bounds off of, no, oh, they're gonna call a foul. Yep, they're gonna call a foul on Vittoria Santana. That'll be her second, third team foul. They said they pre she prevented the central player from getting back to the ball. Two and a half to play here in the third. Monsters up 15. Riera into the front court, right side to Sablinski. Now on top to Green, Green against Dolan. Back to Sablinski, top of the key. She'll go left against Dang, Dang cuts her off. Back out on top to Riera, fires the three. Back iron, no, Dang. Chases down the rebound in the corner for Eastern. Off to Santana. Santana pushes it up right side to Chavez. Chavez, 12-foot jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound is loose, bodies everywhere, but Monsters get it back on top to Santana. 
Lobs it down to Clarkson in the lane. Fouled on the way up. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Nice feed from the top of the key. The foul will go on 10, Kirstine Monk. So that is her first. Ashlyn Clarkson to the line to shoot two. Clarkson averages 7.3 points per game this year. Shoots 69% from the foul line as the first one is off the back iron, no good. So Clarkson back to the line for her second. That one on the way and good. Back into the central lineup will be number four, Irene Moroto, replacing Amani Green. Central basketball with two minutes to play in the third. Eastern leads by 16. Moroto into the front court to Monk, left side to Riera. Riera, near side to Moroto. She'll go left against Dolan, cut off there, out on top to Sablinski. Now hands it off to Monk. Monk goes left on Chavez, cut off there. Now back to Sablinski. Drives the right baseline, cut off by Dang. Fade away, on the way, no good. And there to pick it up is Clarkson. Off to Santana, on the run, three on three. Back the other way to the glass and short on the layup, but a foul going to be called as Santana will go to the line again. The foul will go on number 10, Kirstine Monk. That is her second. Santana right back to the line. We led with this in the open that the Monsters lead the league in free throw attempts per game. They had none in the first quarter, but they are quickly catching up to keep that lead as the second one no good. Excuse me, the first one no good by V. Second one on the way. That one is good. Into the Eastern Arizona College lineup will be number 21, Laurel Iacona. 5'11 freshman from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Nicole Fernandez back into the central lineup. Moroto pushes it into the front court, right side Fernandez, drives on Clarkson, right baseline, stolen away by Dolan in the lane. She's got Dang out ahead, Dang catches, gets to the glass and lays it up and in. Defense leads to a fast break offense and it's 49-30. Fernandez back into the front court, far side to Riera. Riera for three, good. She rattles it home from the left corner. Santana will inbound. Lobs it in to Dang. Dang on the run. She's got Iacona right side. Gets it to her off the glass and one for Laurel Iacona. Her first touch of the game is an and one. Count the basket. The foul will be on 23. I think he said 33, but there's no 33 on the floor. I think it's 23 in Fernandez. It is 23, Nicole Fernandez. Icona at the line, trying to make it a three-point play, and she does. 52-33, 48 seconds to play in the third quarter. Into the front court. Buckley takes the jumper left side and buries it for Central Arizona. Just a two from the left side, 52-35. That's a five-second violation. It'll be a turnover back to... Central Arizona. Eastern has been taking their time bringing the ball into play, and after a made basket, the five-second count starts right away. And I think Eastern a little bit blasé after that last one, and a turnover as Buckley couldn't catch it on the baseline. It'll be Eastern basketball, length of the floor, 28.1 to play in the third, 52-35, Eastern on top. Santana to inbound. Gets it into Dang, right side. Dang pushes it up against Moroto into the front court. Left side. Now reverses it. The foul will go on Irene Moroto, her fourth. That'll put Eastern at the line to shoot two. Sarah Dang. Dang tonight, five points for the Monsters. Yeah, 
The lefty from Australia fires the first, and it's good. 53-35. Dane goes back to the line for her second. That one is up and rattles home as well. 54-35, Monsters' largest lead of the night with 13 seconds to play in the third quarter. Riera pushes it up the left side against Santana. Goes left, nobody home, backside, and Riera can't hit the layup. Dolan with the rebound, and that's the way the third quarter will come to an end. Here at Eastern Arizona College with a score. Monsters 54, Vaqueras 35, back for the fourth quarter right after this. Making the jump from high school to university can be overwhelming. That's why Eastern Arizona College is a great place to start. EA offers personalized education at a quarter of the cost. Small classes with hands-on experience, surrounded by people who genuinely care. Plus, there's always something fun to do on and off campus. Whether you're planning to transfer to a university or learn a new trade, Eastern Arizona College is the place for you. It's changed my life. Let it change yours. Ten minutes left in this one. Monsters lead Central 54-35. Eastern trying to keep their unbeaten streak alive here at home. They are 5-0. and Into the front court, left side. Dolan with it, drives the left baseline, keeps the handle, and a traveling violation going to be called. It'll be a turnover back to Central. 9.50 to play here in the ball game. 54-35 into the front court. Right side, Monk around on top to Buckley. Buckley comes right on the dribble. Now back to Riera. Riera drives, cut off by Santana on the left elbow. Reverses, nice pass, but nice, even better steal by Dang as she anticipated the pass on the left block. Brings it into the front court to Santana. Santana right court at Iacona. Iacona back on top to Santana. Santana drives. Cut off on the far side, rips it around to Dolan. Dolan loses the handle and a steal. Now there is going to be a foul, though, as I believe that was Riera that came through and hit Dang. Lost the shoe in the process. That'll be the second on Riera. First team foul, non shooting foul. Monsters will inbound front court left. Iacona will inbound as soon as Sarah Dang gets her shoe back on. And of course, anytime people are waiting on you, there's a knot in your shoelace. There, it just is. I mean, there's, that's, I think that's called science. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the more people that are looking at you and you feel the pressure that they're waiting on you, it would be the longest it takes to untie a shoe. She probably could do that in her sleep in half a second, but because the entire arena's waiting for her to tie her shoe, uh, it's gonna, <laughs> you can't untie the knot. Kudos to the officials though for letting her get her shoe back on since it happened in the course of play. And now everybody's gonna give her a Bronx cheer as she gets her shoe tied. Iacona to inbound, all the way across court to Dang. Dang on top to Santana. Santana tries to get it back to Dang and Bruce Warner was the closest there, but Bruce Warner is the booster club president and doesn't play basketball. 9.07 to play in the ball game. 54-35, Eastern Arizona College on top of Central. They've stretched it out here in the second half. Riera picks up her dribble way outside. Left side now to Sablinskate. She'll go right, now left against Dang. Tries to spin in the lane. Cut off there by the double team. Fadeaway won't go. Aquino with the rebound. Off to Santana. Santana pushes it up against Moroto, right side. Now left side, on top to Dang. Dang on the dribble, hands it off to Dolan. Aquino wants it on the block, but Dolan going to take it herself. Going to hit it and one. Laney Dolan 
gets the hoop and the harm. The foul will go on 24. Mile Savinskate. That'll be her third. Back into the Eastern lineup, Mary Workman. Replacing Victoria Santana. Monsters lead now by 21 with 8.31 to play. Dolan's free throw and one. And now they're going to call an offensive foul on 13. Aquino on the rebound. Manuela Aquino will pick up her first. Into the central lineup will be 21. Lindsay Yazi, a 5'7 fresh redshirt freshman from Chinle High School on the Navajo Reservation in northeastern Arizona. So no basket there for Dolan. Makes it, keeps it 56-35. Moroto with the ball, left side. Jumper by Yazi won't go. Ayakona pulls down the rebound for Eastern. Off to Workman, quickly up to Dang. Dang to Aquino, left corner. Back to Dang. Dang around to Workman. Right side, Dolan. Feels the three from there, takes it. Good for Laney Dolan. 59-35, Monsters with eight minutes to play. Back, Riera back the other way, and whoa, she didn't get it to fall. And she's a little slow to get up, but that was a great hesitation move to the basket by Anna Costa Riera. Aquino will pick up her second, and to the line will be Anna Costa Riera. Riera with nine points tonight for, check that, 12 points. Pesky math coming back to haunt me. First one is good by Riera. And she'll fire her second, and that one is good. Appreciate the comment, Jacob. That's my goal anytime I put on a headset. I appreciate it. Dang with the ball into the front court to Dolan. Dolan is double teamed into the corner to Aquino. Aquino dribbles out of trouble there through the lane. Spins into the lane, but she's going to be called for a travel before the contact. Turnover back to Central on the travel, 59-37. Into the front court, Monk with it left side. Now on top to Riera. Riera drives into the corner to Yazi. Yazi back out on top to Sublinski. Now left side between the circles to Riera. She's going to try to drive. Cut off by Dolan in the corner to Yazi. Set three on the way over the rim, no good. Ayakona with the rebound. Off to Dang. Dang will leave it to Workman. 7.15 to play. Monsters up 59-37. Aquino drives the left baseline, leaves it for Dang, cutting through the lane. And now Sarah brings it back on top to Workman. Workman goes left against Monk to Aquino in the lane. Spins left. Can't hit the shot. Ayakona with the rebound and a steal by Yazi. Into the front court, right side. Moroto through the lane. Nice shovel pass to find a cutting Sablin skate. And she puts it up and in, 59-39. 6.42 and counting to play. Full court pressure now by Central. Eastern gets it in just under the clock. Dolan going to sprint it into the front court. She's going to go coast to coast, lays it up, and an offensive foul called on Laney Dolan. That'll be her third. Be a turnover back to Central Arizona with 6.32 to play in the ball game. 59-39, these two same two teams back in action tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock Arizona time. Riera with the ball, right side, goes left, drives the lane around Workman. Can't flip it up and in, rebounded by Aquino for the Monsters. Dang will bring it into the front court right side, sprints it. Down low, tries to find Ayakona, and it's volleyballed around. Yazi able to chase it down for Central. Into the front court, trying to find Moroto on the run over her head, and out of bounds. Back to the Monsters. Amani Green back into the Central lineup. Replacing Moroto. It'll be Eastern basketball. Length of the floor at the end of the Central bench. Dang to inbound, into Dolan. Dolan back to Dang. Out on top to Dolan now. Dolan goes right on Yazi. Now back on the left-handed dribble. Top of the post to Aquino, and Aquino going to be fouled on a reach-in by Yazi. 
Shablinskite. Shablinskite. I got it. In my memory bank now. Shablinskite. Lob into Iacona. Can't handle it, but out on top to Mary Workman. 17 to shoot. Left side to Dang. Dang to Iacona. Now to Aquino. Back to Workman with 10 to shoot. Workman drives left. Running floater from the baseline is a little too hard, and Monk with the rebound. Off to Riera, left side. Lobs it near side to Green. She's open for the three. Instead to Monk, who will fire the three. And can't draw iron. It goes out of bounds back to Eastern. Into the Eastern Arizona College lineup will be Elva Chavez, Millie Pearson, and Sharday Williams. Shai Blinskite. I got it now. I got it. I mean, it, there's only five and a half minutes left to go in the game, but I got it now. 59-39, Eastern on top. Dang with it for Eastern. Quickly up to Williams right side. Tries to find Pearson underneath, and it's knocked out of bounds. Eastern will inbound. Baseline right with 23 on the shot clock. Dang with it. Timeout called by Eastern Arizona. Couldn't get the ball in, and Coach DiPaolo wants to talk it over. 5.16 to play in the ball game. 59-39, Eastern on top. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Five minutes and 16 seconds left on the game clock here. Eastern lead Central 59-39. Williams with the ball on top of the Monsters. Off to Chavez, right corner to Pearson. Millie going to fire from there. Back iron no good. Ball is loose and pulled down by Yazzie in the lane for the Vaqueras. Into the front court. Monk with it on top to Riera. Riera down low to Shablinskite to Yazzie. On top to Monk, left side to Green. Green comes right on the dribble with 10 to shoot for Central. Hands it off on top to Riera. Drives, floater, in and out, no good. Rebounded by Pearson, down low for the Monsters. Off to Chavez, who will bring it into the front court herself. Chavez, top of the key to Workman, left side. In the corner to Charday Williams. Down low to Pearson. Pearson catches, and she's fouled by Monk. That'll be the third on Monk and the fourth team foul. Non-shooting foul, Eastern will inbound, but first Maria Luisa Montez back into the central lineup, replacing Monk, nope, not replacing Monk, replacing Green. Pearson will inbound, baseline left for the Monsters. Lobs it in on top to Chavez. Chavez goes left on the dribble, running floater on the way. Nope, they're gonna call an offensive foul on Chavez. No bucket, Shiblinskate. Stepped in and took the charge. That'll be the second on Chavez. That'll be a turnover back to Central with 4.23 to play in this one. Riera into the front court, right side to Shiblinskite. Down low to Montez, catches against Workman, kicks it near side Yazzie. She'll fire a three. Short, Workman there for the rebound. Up to Dang on the run. They've got numbers two on two, two on three on two now. Williams right side, 10 foot jumper, around and off, no good. Pulled down by Shiblinskite. Near side to Montez, off the glass. Monk in and out, no good on the rebound. Chavez with the rebound as Riera takes an elbow on that one. Chavez, fast break, pull up, no good. Rebounded by Dang, but she's going to be called with too much contact on the rebound. That'll be the fourth on Sarah Dang. That'll be the fifth team foul, so that'll put Central Arizona at the line to shoot two.
to the line for Central Arizona will be number two, Maria Luisa Montes, the freshman from Sevilla, Spain. Ciudad Jardine. Montez at the line. And puts it up and in. Eastern has 16 to 21 at the foul line tonight. Montez to the line for her second. In and out, no good. Chavez there for the rebound. Central is 6 of 12 from the foul line tonight. Into the front court to Williams. Williams cross court to Pearson left side. On top to Workman, three and a half to play. Monsters lead by 29. Workman with the ball left side. On top to Dang. Dang left back to Workman with 10 to shoot. Workman in the corner to Williams. Going to fire a three from there. Good for Chardé Williams. 62-40 Monsters with 3.09 to play. Into the front court, Montez with the ball left side. Off to Shiblinskaite. She gets to the rim, can't score, can't hit it and rebounded by Williams for Eastern. Double team comes, she'll bring it into Pearson into the front court, now to Dang. Dang to Workman, right side. Right corner to Williams, now back out on top to Workman. Workman drives, finds Pearson, back to Williams, tries another three from there, front iron no, and Chavez pulls down the rebound for the Monsters. Out on top, Chavez goes left to Workman. Workman now. On top to Dang, and a traveling violation going to be called out on top as a collision happened. Elba Chavez with a double-double tonight. 13 points and 11 rebounds for Elva Chavez. Into the Eastern Arizona lineup. Kiki Noel, a 5'10 sophomore from El Paso, Texas. And into the central lineup, number 22, Ashlyn Swinson. Montez with the ball left side. She shuffled her pivot foot and traveled with the basketball. It'll be a turnover back to Eastern with 2.26 to play. Monsters will move to 8-1 and one with a win here tonight. They'll stay 6-0 and oh at home. Williams into the front court. On top to Chavez. Chavez to Workman right side to Pearson in the corner. Millie going to fire from there, blocked by Montez, who came flying to in on the defense. It'll stay with Eastern. Baseline right, Pearson will inbound. Gets it into Williams, left side. Fadeaway jumper too hard. Rebounded by Workman. Workman backs it out. Reset the offense on top to Chavez. Chavez drives, floater in the lane. Good for Elva Chavez. The last time she got in the paint, she, she, she fouled on an offensive foul. This time she pulled up and laid it up and in. 64-40, Morota with the ball near side. Goes left on the dribble on top to Yazi around left side to Swenson. Now on top to Monk. Monk fakes it, goes left on Chavez, poked away, but chased down by Monk with 10 to shoot. Out on top. Now cutting, stolen away by Williams with a minute and a half to play. Monsters up 64-40. Chardet pushes it up right side, and a bump and a foul called on Moroto, I believe. Is that going to be her fifth on Moroto? That's going to be the fifth on Moroto. She will foul out. Tiana Buckley is also the fifth team foul. So Sharday Williams will go to the line to shoot two. In and out, no good for Sharday Williams. And the second one up and good for Sharday Williams. Back the other way, a blocking foul called on Pearson. That was a collision. I thought, I thought Millie got there in time and that Montez was a little out of control on that drive, but 
That was a collision. Uh, that was a major league collision. It's going to be a foul on Pearson, though, and Montez will go to the line to shoot two. Actually, I'm not even sure Pearson saw her coming the more I think about that. As Montez, I think Pearson just kind of turned our, turned around and and boom, there was Montez. She'll go to the line for her second, Will Montez. That one on the way is short, rebounded by Sharday Williams, 122 to play. Monsters on top, 65-41, Chavez with the ball. Into the corner to Williams. She's going to try a three from there. In and out, no good. Noel with the rebound. Kicks it back out on top to Pearson. Now on top to Workman. To Chavez. Chavez draws the defense. Now takes the jumper left side and rattles at home for Elva Chavez. What a game tonight for Elva Chavez. 67-41. Eastern on top. Monk into the front court with under a minute to play now. Hand off to Buckley. Comes left on the dribble. On top to Yazzie. Near side. Montez fires the three, back iron no good. Noel with the rebound. Off to Chavez. And she'll walk it into the front court. 14 second differential between game clock and shot clock. Left side, Noel with it. Noel on top, swings it around into the corner to Workman, back on top to Sharday Williams. Williams takes a 16 foot jumper and buries it for Sharday Williams. She's feeling it late in the game here too. 69-41, 17 seconds to play. Montez out on top, goes right on the dribble to Yazi. Yazi on top to Monk. Monk drives left on Chavez, and a traveling violation called against Central, and that'll do it. Eastern will just get this one in and run off the final six seconds of this one. Final score, Eastern 69, Central 41. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back to recap this one right after this. Welcome back inside here at Coteau Gymnasium, 69-41. Eastern Arizona College beats Central Arizona tonight, and they move to 8-1 and one overall. Central Arizona will fall to 3-4. and four. Let's take a look at the Central stats for tonight. Nine points for Maria Luisa Montez, two points for Tiana Buckley, 14 for Ana Costa Riera to lead Central, five points for Kirstine Monk, and 11 for Molena Shablin Skyte. For Eastern Arizona, Sarah Dang had seven, two points for Millie Pearson, 13 and five rebounds for Victoria Santana, six points for Charday Williams, 17 points and 11 rebounds for Elva Chavez, the lead all scorers tonight, three points for Laurel Iacona, five points for Lainey Dahlin, five points for Ashlyn Clarkson, and 11 points for Gracie Sorensen tonight. Let's look uh, deeper in this one. Eastern had 17 turnovers at halftime, finished with 29, so they cut down uh, their turnovers by five in the second half. Eastern Arizona College for the game, shot 35% from the floor, 25% from three, 77% from the foul line. For Central Arizona, 27% from the floor, 16% from three, and 54% for the free throw line. Double-double for Elba Chavez tonight. Uh, uh, Mary Workman had 10 assists tonight, did not score tonight, but she almost had a double-double. She had 10 assists and 9 rebounds, according to the official stats tonight for Mary Workman. Uh, that is an efficient night for her. 
Largest lead of the game was 28. That came with 26 seconds to play. Central did lead by one with 7.43 to play in the first quarter. That was four lead changes and one tie all in the first half. 21 points tonight for off the bench for Eastern Arizona. 24 points off of turnovers and 32 points in the paint for the Monsters. Right. These two teams back in action again tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. I will not be here, but the broadcast will go on. So uh, for those of you uh, that I won't see before the holiday season, everybody have a great holiday. Back tomorrow at noon and 2, men at noon, and women at 2 tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for joining us, and have a safe weekend. Good night.